We have all heard about crime lords and the amazing power that they have welded in a short amount of time, but perhaps even more amazing is the incredible levels of wealth that they have amassed as well. Today we will examine six powerful crime lords who became the richest of all time. You will discover that they come from a variety of locales and existed during different time periods. We will also examine how they acquired their riches. Stay tuned, this is Mind Guild. Number 6. El Chapo Joaquin Guzman Loera, also known as El Chapo, was estimated to be worth $1 billion prior to his arrest and imprisonment. El Chapo, which means shorty in Mexican, was nicknamed for his 5 foot 6 inch height. Regardless of his stature, the Mexican drug lord was at one time considered to be the most powerful drug trafficker in the world by the U.S. Department of Treasury. El Chapo headed the Sinalia cartel, which is responsible for bringing nearly a quarter of the legal drugs that entered the U.S. from Mexico. The infamous drug kingpin notoriously escaped prison twice thanks to his crack team of skilled engineers. He is currently in prison for many of his crimes. Number 5. Al Capone Al Capone was estimated to have been worth around $1.3 billion. Whether you know him as public enemy number one or as Scarface, the infamous gangster amassed his massive fortune through bootlegging, prostitution, and gambling during the Prohibition era. Capone is believed to have been responsible for the famous St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1929 and the attempted murder on Bugs Moran, who was head of the Northside Gang in Chicago. While he wasn't indicted for his racketeering, Capone served six and a half years for income tax evasion. He was eventually released, but he later died in Miami in 1947. Number 4. Carlos Enrique Later Rivas. It is estimated that Later was worth $2.7 billion. Later was actually a co-founder of the Medellin cartel who began a life of crime dealing stolen cars, marijuana, and eventually cocaine. Seen one time as the titan of the cocaine industry, Later oversaw legions of gunmen, racing boats, airplanes, and a ranch with a racetrack. He even had his own small neo-fascist party. There are multiple theories about Later's capture, including that his own cartel wanted him out of the picture, and that Pablo Escobar himself told police where he could be captured. Later was tried and sentenced to life without parole plus 135 years, which he got reduced to 55 years total in 1992. Later remains imprisoned in the USA. Number 3. Kun Sa. Kun Sa was estimated to have been worth $5 billion. Kun Sa was known as a publicity-loving Golden Triangle drug lord who headed the opium trafficking from 1974 to 1994 out of Burma. During this time period, he controlled an estimated 70% of the Golden Triangle's heroin business. He used the money to build an army and large-scale heroin laboratories. Kun Sa's empire traded opium for guns to gain control over large parts of the Shan region. Kun Sa was a guerrilla leader and self-dubbed King of the Golden Triangle. He surrendered to Burmese authorities in 1996 under the condition that he received government protection. He died of unknown causes in 2007 at age 73. Number 2. Amado Carrillo Fuentes Fuentes was worth an estimated $25 billion. As the second richest drug lord of all time, Fuentes worked with noted drug kingpin Pablo Escobar to smuggle cocaine and other drugs from Colombia into Mexico and then into the U.S. Fuentes built a multi-billion dollar drug empire from revenue of many illicit activities. 
Fuentes had evaded the DEA his entire life, and in 1997, he died from eight hours of extreme plastic surgery to alter his appearance. The plastic surgeons who operated on Fuentes were found dead afterwards. They had been encased in concrete within steel drums and reportedly showed signs of extreme torture. Number one, Pablo Emilio Escobar. The richest crime lord of all time was none other than Pablo Escobar, who amassed an estimated fortune of $30 billion. Earning the title of King of Cocaine, Escobar became one of the richest people in the world by the time he turned 35. He brought in an estimated $420 million a week, smuggling in about 80% of the United States cocaine supply during the 1980s. At one time, Forbes deemed Escobar as one of the world's top billionaires, recognizing that not all of them made their money legally. Escobar bought various residences and safe houses with his wealth. He escaped La Cathedral, which was his personal luxury prison, and spent the rest of his life evading the authorities. He died in a shootout 16 months after his escape. If you learned something new from my video, then subscribe to my channel right now. Let me know which of these six powerful crime lords that you found most compelling and most interesting. Leave a comment with your thoughts below.